We should not be relying upon the decisions of petro dictators for what we end up paying at the pump. As gas prices continue to go up, Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm arrived in Michigan on Monday at the campus of Focus Hope in Detroit to make a major announcement about electric vehicles. Today we are announcing $3.1 billion in funding opportunity announcement to build up the supply chain for the manufacturing of the battery. It's an opportunity to help ensure that processing the guts or the battery of the electric vehicle can primarily take place on U.S. soil. Right now, the processing of the materials that go into that battery all largely happens in China. We don't have any processing in the United States. You better believe those are more jobs, right? The funding announcement by the federal government works like this. Those who want to apply for it, they will have to supply a match of the funding. So the 3.1 billion ends up becoming 6.2 billion. That's a lot of money to build out this part of the supply chain. And that means that's a lot of jobs. And creating jobs means creating a labor force that can handle the work. Focus Hope says it's ready for the challenge. You are in the machinist training Institute. It is our longest running workforce development program. But GOP leaders also weighed in in a statement to Fox 2. An RNC spokesperson said photo ops and feel good messages will do nothing to erase the pain. Jennifer Granholm and Joe Biden have caused Michiganders as they struggle to afford gas that is over $4 per gallon and worry about the repercussions their families will face if Democrats shut down line five. But as U.S. automakers put EVs on the market, Congresswoman Debbie Dingell is confident Detroit will play a key role in processing batteries. This state, this city, put the world on wheels and we are going to lead the world in continuing to be the mobility leader. You know, we're very excited in the UAW about, about these investments. Um, you know, this is a moment that is never going to happen in our lifetime again. It hasn't happened in a hundred years, a complete transformation of the auto industry. We're not going to let China lead in producing those minerals. We're going to bring it home. In Detroit, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.